nowhere. And the judges and I would like to congratulate you because we think you are the next travel star. Good morning, friends. I'm here at the Chicago Travel and Adventure Show. Today's a little bit different vlog, but Elizabeth here from A Suitcase Full of Books, and I have been selected as one of three top finalists for the Go Traveler uh, Next Travel Star Pitch Contest. So later today I will be pitching A Suitcase Full of Books as a travel, literary travel show. So I'm going to go enjoy the show here until uh, it's my turn to get on stage. Wish me luck. I spent the morning visiting several of the booths and of course had to make a stop at the bookshop because I wanted to pick up the books by the three keynote speakers. Unfortunately, Phil Rosenthal couldn't make it to the show in the end because his flights were canceled, but I did pick up a Rick Steves book and get him to sign it, and I picked up a Pauline Fromer guide and got her to sign it. Whether I won or lost the competition today, I was just excited to be somewhere where I could watch Rick Steves and Pauline Fromer in person. Fall is comparable to the new life that a reflective person experiences when he observes a new country. Oh yeah, and there was a camel, so I didn't ride it because it was time to head back to the Go Traveler booth and get ready for the competition. There are going to be three judges for this contest. One of them is actually behind me, that's Colleen. And then it was time. First up to present their pitch was Traveling While Black. All right, we have a question. There aren't any black people in the Pacific Northwest. Or that's the perception that we were told. Hi, we are Marley and Anthony Love. In 2019, a job relocation brought us to Seattle, Washington. So the state's natural beauty and wonder made it the perfect destination for travel and exploration. The problem was, we can barely find any research on those places that really spoke from the perspective of a black traveler. And then it was my turn. I started with my video. Have you ever wanted to step into a book? I mean, find out if Prince Edward Island is as pretty as Anne of Green Gables says it is, or stroll along Walden Pond with Thoreau, or find out how you too can sleep in Gryffindor Tower. I'm Elizabeth, a former librarian, and here at a suitcase full of books, I'm going to share with you bookish destinations and literary travel content. 
So come with me as I explore the real place that inspired Misty of Chincoteague, how Louisa May Alcott's family inspired Little Women. I'm really, really excited about this house. This is the house of Louisa May Alcott, the author of Little Women. Whether Edgar Allan Poe was just creepy, or whether there was a method behind his madness. Welcome back to Baltimore. Now this is where Poe's story gets Poe-esque. Poe was on a lecture tour in Richmond, and on his way back to New York, where he was living at the time, and found incoherent in the streets of Baltimore, in some other person's clothes. And why Columbus, Ohio added a statue of a cartoon dog to the gravesite of humorist James Thurber. But he also wrote several short stories, and some of those short stories have been combined into a book called My Life in Hard Time. And one of the stories in here is called Mugs, the Dog That Bit People, and this is Mugs. Together we'll explore settings that inspired our favorite books like Pride and Prejudice. Behind me is Chotton House Library. So I'm in the English countryside, and our first stop is at the house of Jane Austen's brother. And later today, we will go down to Jane Austen's house where she lived in the village of Chotton. And authors' homes like Sir Walter Scott's Abbotsford. It's just, everywhere you turn is just incredible. I mean, his castle and, and the walled garden, and there's a river down there that I'm gonna go walk to. I, this, is, this is such a dream. So hit that subscribe button and let me be your librarian to the world. Come on, let's go!
A suitcase full of books has already helped readers visit literary locations. So I hope that you will join me in my goal to bring this show to a wider audience. Thank you. That was fantastic. After all the presentations, the judges had some questions. Okay, great. And by the way, if you get a chance to take a picture with her after, she's got books for her earrings and her skirt. They are, I mean, talk about a brand. She's got it. There you go. Congratulations. Excellent brand. Uh, a couple of things. First of all, I love what you're doing, um, and I am a huge reader. And I've not seen anybody do this yet. So that's what I think is so incredible. Um, you're doing something that it's the first I've ever seen. And then I got compared to Anthony Bourdain and Martha Stewart. I will say that some of the most successful travel show hosts have not been travel show hosts. They are people who are subject matter experts that you are tuning in because they know what they're talking about. And I mean, I get Anthony Bourdain, who was a chef. And I think Martha Stewart, who has like one of the most successful lifestyle platforms, she was a caterer who started her actual media business when she was 50. And so I love that you are a librarian and you are hitting on something that is your subject matter expertise. And you're not saying that you want to be a travel show host, you're actually saying that you have some knowledge to share and you saw a need in the marketplace because there were not shows like this and you wanted something like this to, to be able to reach people who are interested in books. So congratulations, like incredibly very smart concept you have. Awesome. All right, where would you start your show? And finally, while the judges were conversing, they asked us a few more group questions. Probably Seattle because it's a UNESCO World Literary City. Well, um, <laughs> but Seattle and the Pacific Northwest. We're ready for our next travel star. Well, we really have a bunch of travel stars. All right, you ready? First, guys. Congratulations to you. You have no idea how hard it was to make it here to the final three. The judges and I here, my gosh, we really, really struggled on this one. Like, oh, hold up, your, your energy is just off the charge. And Sarah, your idea came out of nowhere. And wow, the loves. Like, first off, you're ready a package. Like, you guys are ready. So with that said, the judges and I had an incredibly difficult time making this decision. But because of looking at the most successful travel show hosts out there who are subject matter experts in what they know, and they were doing really what they love, and they found a niche for something that was just so unique at the time that they were looking for the niche. Sarah, you came out of nowhere, and the judges and I would like to congratulate you because we think you are the next travel star. Wow. <laughs> All right, please download Go Traveler and you can meet us over at our booth. Thank you, everybody.